by mathematical induction. Whenever I say that I am going to prove by mathematical induction, I should show that my P of 1 is true. Since my P of 1 is true, I assume that my P of K is true. Then I have to prove that my P of K plus 1 is true. So now, when I come for the solution, I have the C. Now, I consider my P of N as this. Now, this is the general term which we use to find the last term of this series based on the value of N. Now, I am going to find my P of 1. So, my N is equal to 1. So, P of 1 is equal to wherever I have N, I am going to substitute 1. So, 2 into 1 minus 1 the whole square which is equal to 2 minus 1 that is 1 square which is my first term which is equal to 1. This is my LHS. Now when I go for considering my RHS, my RHS is equal to instead of N I am going to replace 1. So 1 into 2 into 1 minus 1 into 2 into 1 plus 1 by 3. So this is equal to 1 into 2 into 2, 2 into 1, 2, 2 minus 1, 1 into this becomes 3 by 3. So 3 and 3 will get cancelled and it is 1. So here when you look upon my LHS is equal to RHS is equal to 1. So my P of 1 is true. Since my P of 1 is true, I assume that my P of K is true where my N is equal to K. So, P of K is equal to 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square etc. plus 2N minus 1 the whole square is 2K minus 1 the whole square is equal to K into 2K minus 1 into 2K plus 1 by 3. Remember this, this we will be using for further proof. So, now I assume that my P of K is also true. Now we have to prove that our P of K plus 1 is true. So now my N is equal to K plus 1. So P of K plus 1 is equal to 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square plus etc. plus 2 into K plus 1 minus 1 the whole square which is equal to k plus 1 into 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 into 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 by 3. So now when I simplify this I will get 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square plus etc plus when I simplify this 2k plus 2 minus 1 it is 2k plus 1 the whole square which is equal to k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 by 3. Now when I look up this series the term that comes before this is 2k minus 1 the whole square. Okay. So the term that comes before this is 2k minus 1 the whole square which is my P of k. So already I have proved that my P of k is true. So I am going to substitute the value for this here. So here I will be having k into k 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1 by 3 plus I will have this term 2k plus 1 the whole square is equal to this k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 by 3. Now I am going to take LCM and simplify this. I take my 2k plus 1 commonly outside. I will have k into 2k minus 1 plus 3 into 2k plus 1 by 3 which is equal to k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 by 3. Now 
I'm going to simplify this. So this is 2k plus 1 by 3 into 2k square minus k plus 6k plus 3 is equal to k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 by 3. Now this I will be getting as 2k plus 1 by 3 into 2k square plus 5k plus 3 is equal to k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 by 3. Now I have to factorize this. Now when I factorize this, what are the terms I will be getting is, is equal to 2k plus 1 by 3. By factorizing these two, I will be getting 2k plus 3 into k plus 1 which is equal to k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 by 3. Now when you look after, you have k plus 1, k plus 1. 2k plus 3, 2k plus 3, 2k plus 1, 2k plus 1. So my LHS is equal to RHS which implies that P of k plus 1 is so therefore, I have proved that my P of 1 is true, my P of k is true, my P of k plus 1 is true, hence it is true for all values of n greater than or equal to 1.